today, the economic managers are at the 6th Arancada Forum with the theme, Implementing the 10-Point Agenda. Let's bring in Bev Natividad, who's covering the event live from Pasig, or Pasay City. Bev, hi. It sounds like you, ha you guys had a full morning over there. What exactly was discussed? The, the DGI will have to help us bring more of these excellent products. Uh, the economic managers of President Rodrigo Duterte talked about the achievements of the administration in terms of the 10-point socio-economic agenda of the president when he first came into power and, of course, the plans moving forward. But, of course, the numbers were all the same. According to Mr. Pernia, we're on track to grow 6.9% um, for this year, uh, close to 6.9%. That benchmark, of course, comes from the GDP growth that the Philippines achieved in 2016. Um, the numbers are the, the same. All also in terms of spending, for example, for infrastructure, we're still expecting the 8.8 uh, 8 over 8 trillion pesos in spending for infrastructure over the course of the term of Mr. Duterte. But what's interesting more is in the, what happened in the conversations on the sidelines. Mr. Pernia, of course, told reporters today that he wants to be more aggressive in opening up businesses in different economic sectors here in our economy to foreign investments and foreign ownership, saying that they're already drafting the current FINL list, or the foreign investments negative list, and to include more economic sectors that will be open to foreign investments Investments. The FINL, of course, identifies economic sectors that will be open to Philippine businesses. But, of course, it's a negative list. It tells you what sectors will be open to foreign chambers. According to Pernia, what he envisions is that to open these sectors, uh, more economic sectors of the Philippines, to more foreign investments at par on what the ASEAN neighbors have uh, here in this region. And here's a part of what he had to say about that. Well, they thought that it cannot be achieved. I said, no, no, we have to be more aggressive. I told them. So it's being revised now. Right. So the final form will be more aggressive and it will be uh, closer to the ASEAN. Uh, our argument is uh, we have to be at par with uh, ASEAN countries. No, no choice. Otherwise, we will still will continue to be left behind. Also for the part of Budget Secretary, of course, for the DBM, they're talking about aggra being aggressive also. It's also the order of the day for that sector. According to Mr. Diokno, when we spoke to him this morning, they also want to be more aggressive, not just for, sp for spending in terms of infrastructure and other capital outlays, but also they want to aggressively monitor that what they plan to spend is actually spent on the ground or lose that budget, according to him. So here's what he had to say about that when we spoke to him this morning. We're closely monitoring our spending, which was in the neighborhood of around 12 percent. So we will be, we'll be uh, uh, spending what we plan to spend. The utilization rate is 100 percent. Uh -huh. Double digit for the utilization. Double digit, definitely. There's so much creative possibility. Yes, uh, that's what Mr. S uh, Diokno said, that uh, yes, we are standing by for that s ten, some 10 percent will be able to sustain some 10 percent growth in terms of uh, the spending as the uh, term of um, Mr. Duterte rolls by. Sean? Bev, what specific sectors does Pernia want removed from the draft foreign investment negative list exactly? Well, some of that sectors would include retail trade, professions, he said, and also are still close to foreign investors. When he talks of professions, he said one example would be allowing foreign professors to teach here. And he said one of the reasons why our universities are not as highly rated as foreign universities is the fact that we don't allow, we don't uh, allot specific items for foreign professors to be able to teach here full-time in the Philippines. And he said it's high time that that is changed. Sean. Interesting, Bev. Lastly, I'm sure everyone wants to know, do the cabinet secretaries have a timetable yet for when they want to see these changes you've mentioned implemented? Well, Sean, what we have to know now is that um, it's currently being drafted now. And as, as the NEDA is working on that, they would, that will, of course, that paper will go up as to the level of the NEDA board. Uh, they just met, so maybe next month's meeting, they said they plan to uh, finish that draft by the end of this month and then probably get that to the ra to round, uh, to get to the rounds of uh, different departments and different secretaries to, so they can get their concurrence on the matter. But after that, he said, according to Mr. Pernia, they plan to target to have an EO specifically about the FINL before the end of this year, Sean. All right, thank you very much for that update. Beverly Natividad reporting to us live from the Arangkada Philippines Forum in Pasay City.